Promoting best practice during surgical tourniquet placement. Before planning any tourniquet procedure, it is essential to measure the limb. This ensures that the correct size of tourniquet is chosen. The VBM colour coding system and tape measure facilitate ease of selection. The limb should be measured at the widest point. VBM offer a variety of shapes and sizes varying from paediatric to bariatric, including the conical thigh calf. Tourniquets should be applied using clean hands in order to reduce user-patient bacterial transference. The VBM procedure pack has been designed to promote best practice. The sterile, single-use packs eliminate bacterial transference between patients. The packs include all the essential items required for gold standard tourniquet placement. It has been suggested in published literature that underpadding should be used below the tourniquet cuff. This can help reduce wrinkling, pinching and shearing of the tissues. Too thick a layer should be avoided as it will increase the required pressure for safe limb occlusion. For this reason, it is recommended that two layers of padding should be used. The VBM padding is patient specific which facilitates easy placement without wrinkling. By selecting the correct tourniquet size, application of the cuff is much easier. Too long a cuff creates excessive overlap, causing a loose fitting cuff and insufficient occlusion. The bladder must overlap but not exceed one quarter to one third of the overall cuff length. By using the colour coded ties, the tourniquet cuff can be tightened sufficiently reducing movement of the cuff during inflation. In this video, a straight arm cuff is used. However, the conical cuff is designed to fit optimally on patients, particularly those with muscular or pear-shaped thighs. There are various techniques of exsanguination, including the use of an Eschmarch bandage. The VBM range includes a sterile, disposable version available in various widths. VBM also offer an alternative in the form of roll-on cuffs. Exsanguination can also be achieved using elevation. Pressure should be set appropriately to inflate the tourniquet cuff according to the patient's preoperative systolic pressure. The final stage before skin preparation is to apply the tourniquet drape. It provides a waterproof barrier which protects the patient from burns associated with skin preparation without creating its own tourniquet. Available as individual items or as a complete pack as featured in this video, the VBM range of disposable tourniquet cuffs and accessories provide ultimate patient protection.